At the badgering of my wife Joanne, I ditched the glasses inside. My eye bags are so bad. Big day today. Big day today. Today, what we're doing is we're finally cleaning out the pond at my house, the one that had all the dead fish in it. <laughs> it smells really bad. So it's gonna be interesting to see if anything survived in there. I for sure see a lot of floaters. So I've got Rich and Boulevard, and I've got three new guys that are starting today. I'm excited about that because we're gonna start onboarding immediately with doing a clean out of my house, and then we're gonna jump into the training center, which is gonna be a good indicator for them exactly what we do around here. So they're gonna get some real world experience today. We'll see how that shakes out. Okay, now we'll head outside and see how the pond cleaning's going. I'm going outside so I can wear them. Oh, we're making out, Steve. Found some aquatic friends. There was a channel cat in there. Uh, few whole and half pieces of, I'm not sure what they were, but they were little small guys. Nothing alive so far, unfortunately. It's pretty dark water, so maybe there's something alive down there. We're hoping for the best. Not counting on much, though. Boy, this water looks really nasty. You can't even see it at this point because it's all stirred up, but uh, I don't have real high hopes for anything being alive in here because it's pretty gross. Let me show you what we usually do on a normal clean out. We'll set up our holding tank on the grass if possible because we want to keep the heat off the tank. Setting up in a driveway is a big no-no. If we have to, we set it up on the patio, but behind me, we've got two 500 gallon holding tanks. So we pump water from the pond initially when we first get there to try and get the cleanest water possible so we can transfer the fish that are in the pond into the holding tank so they're moving in the same water. When we're finished, we'll take that water and we'll pump it back into the pond so they're moving in the same water again. We're not shocking their system. Hey, Bowley, where'd this come from? Oh, inside there? Yeah. How'd you get that out? That's a big block of ice. Rich, pick it out. You and Rich picked it up? Good job. Hey Rich, well, let me get with you for a minute. Yeah, sure. You got three new guys here with you. Yeah. Give me an assessment. How are things going? Things are going pretty well. Everyone knew how to work a shovel. You know, everyone could lift. You know, everyone really paid attention. They asked good questions. And uh, you know, overall, you know, so far so good, I'd say. So, what are you looking for when they're out here? Uh, good attitude. Um, as you can see, you know, clean outs aren't the uh, you know the nicest thing to do in the world. But you know, as long as you have a good attitude and you stick through it, you know. It's a team effort, so as long as everyone has a good attitude and works together, you know, things get done. Right. <laughs> so my outdoor lighting system here at the house is kind of uh, a mess. I had some squirrels chew wires last year, and we thought we got it all figured out, but there are things still shorting out around here, and we've got dim lights everywhere. I'm gonna probably looking at a whole rework of my lighting system. At that point, I'm probably just gonna upgrade the LEDs because most of my lighting's halogen been here for like 11 years or so so I think it's time for an upgrade while I've got the water out since I don't really have any fish left I'm looking to do some probably major renovations on my pond so this whole intake section where these guys are working now I'm gonna rip all that out and then that whole section on the far side where the driftwood is and next to the bridge that's all getting ripped out I'll leave that big boulder I'll rip that stuff out probably gonna change the urn to something different and then I'm looking to do a renovation on my stream too. Just because these are things I've been thinking about for the last couple of years, but now with no fish in the pond, it gives me an opportunity to leave the water out and then attack this as I find the time. Probably looking like, you know, normally on a project, this would be a couple days, but for me at my house, with everything else we have going on, this is gonna take me a month. So how's it going down here, Dan? Pretty good, man. What are you working on? Uh, getting some, uh some leaves and some of the bigger stuff out of the pond trying to clean it up so two days in what are your thoughts uh i'm liking it I'm you don't want to get in your car and leave you <laughs> no nah, not at all <laughs> not at all not scaring me away what are you mike you ready yeah man this is fun you're still good getting dirty pond's getting clean. well they're still here for now we'll see how it goes one made it 
So more important than my pond getting clean today was the fact that the new guys got a chance to get in there and get dirty and see what pond cleaning is all about and going through the proper steps and making sure they understand our process from start to finish and that was accomplished today. Now my pond is gonna stay empty for the next month or so while we get busy with other things and I'm gonna start tearing it apart here and there. I'll show some of that as it goes along. I've got some ideas, I think they're gonna be cool, might be worth watching. You don't really get a feel for exactly how bad it can be until you're, you know, covered in fish poop. <laughs> <laughs> 